Once again, it's time for the PUBG Mobile Dev Q&A. Recently, we were receiving loads of questions about the Royale Pass. Let's take a look at our first question. Question 1. I'm concerned about the Royale Pass rewards, so I'd like to know if there will be even more appealing items in the future. What a coincidence! We will be fully upgrading the Royale Pass with the launch of Royale Pass A1. On top of the original rewards, we'll be introducing more unique and compelling items. First, we have the highly customizable color changing outfit. Once you've upgraded the pass to the max rank, you can get an outfit. The Spectre Slayer set of this pass is the first outfit to support custom colors. Based on your own preferences, you can change the color of various parts of the outfit. At level 1, you can change the color of its armor and accessories. After using a pearlescent upgrade card, you can change the color of more parts. You can get it as a reward for upgrading the Royal Pass, completing missions, and redeeming it from the event shop. The Royal Pass contains enough for less than upgrade cards to upgrade the outfit to its max level and unlock all the customizable parts. Changing the color of a certain part only requires a small amount of silver. Since you can freely match various colors for just one outfit, it's equivalent to getting several outfits in one. Besides the new color changing outfit, we've also added modification material pieces to the Royal Pass. They can be combined into modification materials, which are used to upgrade firearm finishes. Ten modification material pieces can be combined to make one modification material. Once you get your hands on more modification materials, have you thought about which firearm you'll upgrade? We've also added a new upgradable weapon finish. You can unlock Drakenbane Remnant Machete. Its straight wide blade, coupled with its purple black color scheme, evokes dominance and mystery. It also gets an elimination broadcast when upgraded. Eliminating enemies just got even cooler. Question two. Is there a simpler way to upgrade the Royal Pass? In the new Royal Pass, there are additional challenge missions to help everyone earn extra points, such as climbing over obstacles, shattering windows, and more. So, there are now more missions that are also easier to complete. Now that the pass can be upgraded more efficiently, everyone will easily be able to get all the rewards. Question 3. Now that the new Royal Pass has more appealing rewards and a simpler upgrading process, will the price remain the same? Absolutely! The price for the new Royal Pass hasn't changed. After the update, the Royal Pass season will last two months, and the max rank will increase to 100. Elite Pass and Elite Pass Plus will both still be available. By purchasing the Elite Pass, you can unlock all the rewards from ranks 1 to 100 at once, or you can choose to unlock ranks 1 to 50 first, and unlock ranks 51 to 100 at a later date. The rewards for ranks 1 through 50 and ranks 51 through 100 both include UC. After upgrading your Royal Pass to max rank, you will receive a full UC rebate. By purchasing the Elite Pass Plus, you can also unlock all the rewards from ranks 1 to 100 at once, get 50% bonus points, and an exclusive avatar frame, all together worth over 48,000 UC. Lastly, the pre-order event for the new Royal Pass will begin on May 12th. After pre-ordering, you get a new dinosaur vehicle finish, which can be used in the upcoming version. Alright, that's it for this dev Q&A session. If you have any questions of your own, be sure to let us know in the comments. See you next time!